praise God Facebook live viewers this is Apostle Robinson and my royal generation body of Christ believers International Incorporated United States of America we are inviting everyone across the United States of America to our affirmation Consecration Insulation Service Last Musical <gasps> will be in celebration November 13th, 2021, 12 noon. Location is 112 06 Farmers Boulevard, St. Albans, New York, Queens. Looking forward to having a high time in God's moving. December 31st. 2021 at 10 30 p.m. We have our own apostle Angelina Hunt will be our guest speaker for our watch night service Amen January 23rd 2022 we have our guest Pastor Stacy to Virginia Saturday 11 a.m. Bible study Amen. Thursdays is prayer meeting, 8 p.m. Sundays is praise and worship at uh, 7 p.m. All are welcome to fellowship with us on Facebook Live in person. The conference call information is 978 990 5000. Access code is 442 086 pound sign. Praise the Lord. We'll be on YouTube so you can look us up. Any information, you can give me a direct call at 312-312-0293. The administrative number is 347-825-4040. Amen. Looking for your presence. Come with the Spirit of God. Come with the right spirit to worship God and give God the glory. Amen. I'm so so godly proud of all of my spiritual kids i love them with the love of the lord and everybody I love everybody so y'all keep up the great dynamic work for god's kingdom because all about glorifying the lord and edifying and to god's kingdom and his gifts to his to god's glory amen so i just want to just come on here and appreciate all y'all support to our past services a long ago. Amen. We're going to have some great dynamic, dynamic uh, people will be coming. Amen. Next month. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. And we appreciate all of our social media members. We appreciate everybody from every age. Amen. We love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. I stay connected to us. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. I love y'all. Amen. God bless you, man of God, woman of God, everybody that's watching us. So if you don't have a church home, you're more than welcome to have uh, come and worship with us at 1569 Park Place, Brooklyn, New York. Amen. Sunday at 7 p.m. You're more than welcome to come to 112-06 Farmers Boulevard, St. Albans, New York on Saturdays, 11 a.m. If you need an apostolic covering, we are here for you. Be spirit sent, not self sent. Spirit sent. God bless you, man of God. I love you. Amen. Uh, be spirit sent. Amen. A lot of people are saying that God send them places. Amen. Don't 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 uh, play with the Holy Ghost, the prophetic. If God does not send you somewhere, don't go. Be led by the Spirit of God, and even you join coverings and people churches. Just fellowship sometime to get to know people, to get to know people what they really are. Amen. I don't I don't I, I fellowship with people churches. I don't just jump 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 jump. I don't do stuff like that. Amen. If you're a pastor, you fellowship with different ministries to get connections. Amen. We're here to help one another. But don't build on another man's foundation that God has not authorized you to do, that you're acting out of order. 
And when you're here, you're here to help people. You're here not to control nobody because these are God's people. These are God's people. You're here to help people, not control people. You're here to help people, not control people. A lot of us think because we are apostles and prophets, pastors, teachers, and much more that we're not vulnerable to be corrected. No, you're, 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 you're soundly wrong, my, my dear brothers and sisters. And man, I make mistakes and I get it right. I make mistakes. So I apologize to anybody. And man, I will look through my phone and just making sure I get back in contact with some of your people. Amen. Um, if y'all have any events coming up very soon, so please tag it in. Amen. Also, Saturdays, uh, 11 a.m., Bright Light Church of God in Christ Family Worship Center. Amen. Has a food pantry, 201-14 Hollis Avenue. Amen. Uh, if you are in the area, please come and get some food, some canned goods, some good stuff. You need it. Don't feel ashamed. Get it. Amen. And also, they have services on Sundays at um, 1230. Amen. You're more than welcome to worship with them. Amen. Wonderful music, wonderful talent. It was beautiful. God really moved in a supernatural way. We are praying for all the leaders around the world. God bless you, man of God. I want y'all to be encouraged today. Don't give up on God. Amen. Keep your eyes on God the Lord. Amen. And just be humble. Be respectful. And respect each other. Don't mistreat people. I'm not talking just to the leadership. I'm talking to myself. How I treat myself. At home first. Respect yourself. Please. We ask you in Jesus name. To respect yourself. Respect everybody. That's around you. Amen. You may not know what they're going through. Never tell anybody. That they're not called. That you step it in the Holy Spirit place. When you operate on that. False uh, imagination. We all make mistakes. That's why we can go to the Father and ask for forgiveness. Some of you need to go back and ask for forgiveness to anybody that you have hurt in the past. Anybody that mistreated you, forgive them, move on, live your life, do what you have to do. Some of you are going through a lot of family issues, a lot of relationship issues that you don't tell people, but God knows. So I pray and I encourage you to move forward in God. I push you in the spiritual realm in Jesus' name to do the work of the Lord. A lot of y'all are new beginners. God is going to open up the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing. The room of it to receive, but you cannot block yourself. I'm talking to the child and the, and the young, young girl that's operating in you, that's hindering you from moving forward in your maturity as a man and a woman of God. Don't carry your, your, your stuff you did in the past. No, you can't carry that in this season. Amen. God is giving you peace. He's giving you self-control. So you better block out every voices that you hear. People call you suicide. They call you crazy. Who cares what people got to say? Do what the Lord tell you to do. God bless you, man of God. I'm tired of seeing our leaders sick. Because we hold on to all this unnecessary pressure. We hold on to all this unnecessary thoughts and people. Disconnect yourself from people that mean God's kingdom no good. No more time for personal connections. It's time for God to be glorified. Not time for you to be glorified. Not build your own kingdom. But build the kingdom of God. Beware of wolves in sheep clothing. Everybody that join your church, join your fellowship, be careful. It's not throwing off on nobody. This is a general conversation. I want you to love yourself. Make yourself happy. But do it legitly. Don't be in a love. Don't do that. 
Don't do things to f f please your flesh. Oh, no, no. Do things to please the Lord. Forget about what people got to say. They have no heaven or hell to pick you in. Now, speaking here, somebody here. A lot of you have been talked about, cursed that. You never be anything. And every time some things come around, you give you familiar. It make you go back. No, no, no. You're not going back to your life. You're going to move forward. You're going to do the work of the Lord. So I'm encouraging you in the spiritual realm. God has put a vision and a dream in you. It's time to fulfill it. If you're going to go and do business, do business right. It starts at home. Get right with yourself. That's your mercy business. That's your first business. I can't teach you something that I don't do. It's time for us as leaders to be honest. Not to be fake, but be honest with yourself. I'm talking about integrity. I'm talking about behavior. Amen. Watch what you go on your social media. Watch what you do on your phone. I'm telling you, as a prophet of God, it's time for us to come together and get out of your religion. And another thing I'm going to tell you too, people of God, it is not about the rings, the chains, and the garments. You're not taking this nowhere you're going. So you need to break out of that me, myself, and I thing and get into God's presence. And, for, and stay in your God zone and do what the Lord has told you to do. I need you to stay in your God zone. That means stay in your lane and do what God has told you to do. God is speaking to some of you right now. He wants you to come out of yourself. It's not about your, your, your leaderships. Your leader don't make your name great. Let me say it one more time. God makes your name great before men and women of God. These are his people. These are God's people. So I want to correct some things here. Can I get an amen, somebody? It's time for you to wake up and, and do what the Lord has told you to do. So I'm pushing everybody in the spiritual realm that you have great, dynamic, anointed services unto the Lord. Amen. That God will connect you with some new connections. Amen. You can't just involve yourself in the same conversation. You can't hang out with your same crew. No, God about to take you to new places. Some of you need to just really exaggerate. Really Really, really, I need to go out in your heart and forgive yourself. A lot of you hold it on. Some of you have been spiritually raped. Some of you have been physically raped. But God coming to heal you right now. The Bible said, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek thy faith and turn from the wicked way. You can't carry all these unnecessary spirits to, in your new season. God don't dwell in an unclean house. And I'm talking to myself as well as you. God wants his ministry to be kingdom minded. Not self minded, but kingdom minded. So I'm encouraging you and pushing everybody in the spiritual realm. This is kingdom. This is not self kingdom. This is kingdom of God. And God told me to let you know to get out of yourself. Come out and meet myself and I. My members, my people, stop it. They could be here today and be gone tomorrow. They ain't your members. These are God's people. God has, has spoken to you. And he's telling you right now. Don't pick yourself above God. Come out of your pride. Come out of your ego. Come out and meet myself and I. Because life and death is the power of your tongue. Whatever you sow, that's how you reap. So make sure you're sowing the right seed today. Do you hear me, somebody? This is a reaping season. I don't want to reap nothing bad. I want to reap something good. So this is a reaping season. Are you ready to reap back what you have sown? Are you sowing a bad seed today? Are you reaping a bad seed today? Are you sowing a good seed today? Are you sowing a good seed today? And people know God's lives. I'm talking to the men and women of God. I don't care about your title. Are you sowing the right seed? The Bible says, touch not my anointing. Do my prophet no harm. That scripture just don't lie on you. 
That scripture lies on everybody that you pick your mouth on. We can't tell people who not called. Get out of that mentality. The same way God called you, he called that individual. I don't care how much you can sing and preach. I don't care how much you can do. Always give God the glory. When God use you in a supernatural way, and miracles, signs, wonders, and breakthrough come, always give the Lord some glory. Because God is going to do some supernatural things in your life. He's going to break some generational curses. He's going to break some tradition stuff that you've been raised in. Because a lot of you need to break out what you've raised in so you can come into the kingdom. Come into God's thoughts. That God might be glorified. I don't care about the thrones. I don't care. I, wanna, I want God to be glorified. The time to go back to praying and fasting and seeking the heavenly father. Seeking God's face for direction. And all the divine services unto the Lord. It's time for you to give God the glory. Amen. God will add laborers to the kingdom. You don't have to force people to come into your ministry. You don't have to do that. God will send the people to you. We're trying too hard. We get in God's way. Let the Lord bring them. So God is speaking to some of you. Because a lot of you met Jesus in, in your house. Evil Shia. I'm praying for you, amen, man of God that's watching and still watching. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for a supernatural blessing for you. I'm praying for peace in the name of Jesus. Don't hold on, Peter of God, to anything that is blocking you from entering into God's presence. I love you with unconditional love, but I'm going to tell you the truth. It's time for you to let go of yourself and let God have his way. God says live and prosper, but he don't want you to hold on to any unnecessary things that's not to, not to God's will and to God's way. God's going to use some of you in a supernatural way. You are anointed. I want you to pay that on the tag. I am anointed above what people got to say. You are anointed by God. The anointing rests upon your head. God's glory is upon your life. So you God's legitimate presence. So I encourage you and I push you in a spiritual realm to do the supernatural thing that God has for you. Because you're anointed by God. You're not anointed by no paperwork. Amen. Who cares what people got to say? Your anointing comes from God. Your, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in God. Let your work shine, not to men, but to God. And God will make you amongst many men, women of God. Let your light shine, people of God. It's time for God to have his way. God bless you. This is Apostle and Bishop Lamont Robinson, Royal Generation, Body of Christ, Believer International Incorporated, United States of America, and to and Apostle Bernard Burns, Solid Rock Gospel Assembly Incorporated. We appreciate your presence. And remember that you God's legitimate presence. God bless.